Well, you probably know that you can make soups and chili with your crock pot, but the options go way beyond that, and using a slow cooker can actually save you money. Sherry Lowe is the queen of free. She joins us here this morning with some tips on how you can save money when it comes to making different meals in your crock pot. This is really one of your favorite kitchen tools. It is, definitely. I love my crock pot. I actually have four at home, <laughs> and so I brought one of them in with me this morning, and the other ones will be in use today. It's crock pot season. There's plenty of great ways to save money with it, but we probably should start with where you should buy a crock pot. Interesting, because I would just think you know you run out to any store, but you're saying not so fast. Yeah, you need to shop smart. Mm -hmm. Certainly, if you have the need immediately, you can hit Amazon, and I found some really well-reviewed um, slow cookers out on Amazon that are linked out on queenoffree.net today as cheap as $11. Wow. But if you just wait about a month and a half, Black Friday will yield the absolute best deals for us to pick up a slow cooker this year. So if you can be a little bit patient, I bought that one for $4 about five years ago, and it no has kidding. done a great job. Wow, that's an amazing bargain. You brought some different food options uh, to, bring, to put in there as well for some of those tasty dishes. Definitely. So you want to move beyond soup. There are lots of things you can do. You can cook dried beans in your crock pot overnight, and so they soak, and then you cook them all day long. Um, saves tons of money over ver buying the canned version. You can use your crock pot as a rice cooker. There are lots of dishes that you can prepare, and I have those linked out on queenoffree.net today, that are breakfast dishes that you can actually put in the night before and have them cook all night long and wake up to a nice hot breakfast without having to do anything. Mm -hmm. But if nice you smell. really want to learn how to use your crock pot, well, I um, suggest that you consult the experts. And there's a couple of local YouTubers here in the Indianapolis area who run a channel called Recipes That Crock. It's a fantastic <laughs> site. You'll love them for their personality, but yeah. they break down how you can make anything and everything in that crock pot. I already love them for the creative name that they have <laughs> for their website. So when it comes to actually cleaning or making some of the different food options, that cleanup can always be a hassle. There's always the talk about those those bags that you can put in there, but that's kind of an environmental uh, you know, issue and right. expensive as well. You're saying you've got something else in mind. Definitely. There are some multi-use bags, and I have those linked out on queenoffree.net today, too, that you can use over and over again so they're not just a use it once and pitch it sort of option but actually your crock pot itself is its best self-cleaning mechanism I have the specific measurements on my site today but you can take baking soda white vinegar a little bit of dish soap and water mm -hmm. fill that pot all the way up and turn it on low and it actually becomes a self-cleaning sort of machine and stuff falls off the sides. It doesn't take as much effort yeah. for you to pour that out and then scrub it out very quickly. Just a little wipe off and you're good to go. Some exactly. great tips. I'm still shocked they only cost you $4. So some great deals. You, you can <laughs> find much more about those deals, those recipes, cleaning instructions, and more all on her blog, queenoffree.net. Sherry, thank you very much for thank joining you. us. I think we've all learned a lot. <laughs>